The temperature underground remains constant throughout the year. Compared to the air temperature, the ground temperature varies minimally by 2 to 6 degrees Celsius. Using this principle, the Earth air tunnel is utilized for preheating and cooling, consisting of a network of pipes buried at an appropriate depth. This system offers significant benefits, such as reducing energy consumption by up to 15%, decreasing air conditioning demand by 5% to 10%, and saving on electricity bills by 8% to 10%. Additionally, it is environmentally friendly. Hot air enters through a wind tower connected to the underground duct. The duct is installed at a depth of 3 or 4 meters, depending on the soil properties and water content. The longer the duct, the greater the heat transfer and efficiency, although costs also increase. Therefore, there are different types of loop systems, such as the vertical loop and the spiral loop, which enhance efficiency. The size of the pipes varies from 3 to 30 inches. The smaller the pipe diameter, the more energy is needed to move the air due to friction. After the air is treated, it enters the building. A solar chimney can also be added to extract hot air from the rooms. This is how the earth air tunnel works. However, it is not suitable for all regions due to soil properties, bedrock near the project site, and space availability. Among the drawbacks, if the air is cooled below the dew point, moisture will condense in the pipe. The air contains spores that will thrive in the dark, cool, and damp environment inside the pipe. To move the air with less resistance, the pipe must be large and require something to cause turbulence for better heat transfer. A well-sealed structure is also needed to develop sufficient chimney effect and vacuum so the air moves through the pipe instead of through leaks in the building envelope. In my opinion, a more efficient alternative would be to bury a water pipe in the ground and circulate water through it to cool it, then pass it through a fan coil or radiator. Condensation would occur in the radiator, where it can be properly managed. The room air could also be circulated through this system to increase cooling and improve climate control. Although it is a bit more expensive and complex, all the components are commonly available.